Now, I think despite what people think of Isabel Oakeshott, and um, in general, I think she's a dubious character. She's allegedly in a relationship with uh, reform leader Richard Tice. And even Richard Tice pushed for mandatory jabs, along with his Reform Party deputy, Dr David Bull. Isabel Oakeshott also went on to write the biography for Matt Hancock. So make of all that what you will. However, I think her revealing the WhatsApp group messages between Matt Hancock and other Tory party ministers is indeed in the public interest. It was the right thing to do. And she broke an NDA to do that, a non-disclosure agreement. You see, what these WhatsApp messages show us is what people like myself have suspected from the very beginning of lockdown, and that is the government mishandled it. Matt Hancock was the wrong guy in the wrong job at the wrong time, and there needs to be criminal charges against these people, big time, especially Matt Hancock. Now, give the devils their due, uh, Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak, during the uh, lockdown. Boris Johnson, for one, didn't push for harder lockdown restrictions like Nicola Sturgeon and Mark Drakeford did and some other European countries, to his credit. And Rishi Sunak continuously questioned the government, asking them, do you really need to do this? People's lives and businesses are being destroyed. But also out of this, we found out that the, uh, well, we knew anyway, that the mainstream media was complicit in all this. They wanted faster, harder and longer lockdowns. And they demonised anyone questioning any of it. So it should tell you everything really that the mainstream media, rather than going after the real story here, which are the government WhatsApp messages between Matt Hancock and others, they reckon the real story here is Elizabeth Oakeshott (laughs) breaking an NDA. She went on to Channel 4 with Cathy Newman. Remember Cathy Newman? She's the so-called journalist, well she's a left-wing activist, isn't she, who had her arse handed to her by Dr. Jordan Peterson, and turned into a meme. And he exposed her for what she is, uh, for not being very bright at all. And Isabel Oakeshott was basically attacked by Cathy Newman for this. And that's not the real story here. And the mainstream media won't go after the real story, which are um, the WhatsApp messages. Instead, they're going after Isabel Oakeshott. Now, any journalist worth their salt would be all over this, like rats on a compost heap. But they're not, because they know they're complicit. They have blood on their hands. Lives and businesses were destroyed. And they were destroyed because of overzealous and harsh lockdown rules. Matt Hancock himself is revealed in these WhatsApp messages as suggesting the government should come down hard on the police to ensure that they enforce them. Lockdowns that were catastrophic and largely based on uh, political expediency and... um, It was nonsense, basically. And so the real villain here should be slimy rat uh, Matt Hancock, the government minister who broke his own lockdown rules while urging the government to lock people down harder and faster and longer. He is seen in these WhatsApp messages as wanting to, I quote, we frighten the pants off everyone with the new strain, end quote and asking when are they going to deploy the new variant, which makes it sound like a weapon, doesn't it? (laughs) So it's telling, really, that the mainstream media and the uh, lockdown fanatics, the woke lefties on Twitter especially, are all demonising Isabel Oakeshott, because I believe it's hit them now that how they behaved during that time was wrong and criminal, and they do have blood on their hands. People weren't allowed to go and see loved ones in care homes, so they could say their final goodbyes because of uh, harsher lockdowns that Matt Hancock helped to push. Meanwhile, Matt Hancock was having an affair, wasn't he? He was meeting up with a woman uh, outside of his marriage and shagging her. So, in summary, what these WhatsApp messages show is that Matt Hancock wanted to scare people and for some reason wanted to hit targets and in doing so wanted to scare the public into complying with uh, lockdown measures. That's the truth of it. And for everyone who complied and uh, pushed for it as well and demonised people like me for questioning it, shame on you. That's something you have to live with. And for the mainstream media here in the UK to slap the messenger, uh, Isabel Oakeshott, 
rather than seeing the story for what it is and uh, digging deeper into it and sharing it with the public uh, as their job suggests as journalists well shame on them as well and there we go that's my video please let me know what you think in the comments and until the next time have a lovely sunday look after yourselves and roger trout